Okay, today we are going to do a place value puzzle. And in fourth grade, we are learning place value all the way through billions. And of course, you should know ones, tens, and hundreds in the ones place, and then you have your thousands. Um, it might be new for you, but after you have 100 thousands, you get into the millions place. And then you follow the same pattern, 10 million, 100 million, and then after that, you go to the billions. And just if you're curious, I want to know even beyond that, the next one out here would be trillions with a TR. Beyond that. <clears throat> but uh, we don't need to get into that right now. Just be sure to use your commas because once you get this many numbers, it's hard to keep track of them, but the commas will really help you get it straight. So you might even want to start by putting those commas in. And then the rest of this is just a puzzle to help us figure out um, or to help us practice some of our math facts we've already learned. So what is half of 24? Half of 24, hopefully you know, is 12. And then you subtract 4, and that would give you, think about it for a moment, 8. That goes in the hundreds place. There is the hundreds place. Next question, half of 30. Think about that. What is half of 30? That would be 15. And now, it wants you to divide 15 by 3. What is 15 divided by 3? Well, figure it out on your own that number would go into the 10,000s place. Um, next one, <clears throat> uh, I think you can do some of these on your own. So you find 30 divided by 10, double it, that goes into the 1 millions place there. Um, let's go down to number five, that's a little bit different. So here, first thing it says is find nine times eight. Hopefully you know that is 72. But then we need to reverse the digits in the result, which means we need to switch the two numbers, reverse the digits. <clears throat> so that would be 27. Then divide by 3, and hopefully you know that is 9, and that goes into the hundred thousands place. Hundred thousands place there. Okay. Um, so how about this next one? Write the even number greater than zero that you have not used yet. So what are your choices for even numbers? Two, four, six, and eight. And have we used eight? Yes, we've used eight. So I'm gonna cross that out. And then you're gonna have an even number for three and an even number for four, I believe. So cross those out, whatever's left, that goes into the billions place. One, or oh, the one billions place, there. So you have to figure out what even number's left. And let's just keep going. Five divided by five, hundred millions, you can do that. Um, same thing here, in the tens place, write the odd number that has not been used yet. So what are your odd numbers? You have one, three, five, seven, in nine. So up here, um, we've already used nine, and you're going to have more answers than I have because I'm just doing part partly through. So what other odd number has not been used in your puzzle? That's the one that will go into the 10 billions place right there. And we'll keep on going. And getting even more challenging. Um, Find the sum of all the digits in the chart so far. So basically that means you need to go up and add up every single one of these together that you've done so far. So add these numbers up and then divide them by five. Um, I'll put at the end of this video, I'm going to put another tutorial covering this whole thing. If you're really confused, you can watch. Maybe I'll have a student make it because I have some, a feeling some people are going to struggle with this, but that's okay. Um, write zero in the empty column whose place value is less than 
billions. So at this point, <clears throat> if you filled all of these in, you're going to have an empty column somewhere less than billions. And that, whatever's empty there, will have, have a zero in it. And then finally, you're going to write the number in words. The way that's going to work is whatever you've got here, blah, 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 that would be billion. And then the next number, so you've got blah, 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 billion. Then you've got blah, 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 million. And then you have blah, 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 thousand. And then to end it, you can just say blah, blah, blah. But I'm out of space. Okay, and now we're going to do some multiplication practice for uh, my class. I'm requesting one lattice method, one partial products algorithm method, and then two you can do for your choice. And as always, we always show our work. I'll just do two samples. I'm going to do number 14 as partial products. I think uh, two digits times, or three digits times one is good for that. And I will go times the hundreds place first, three times, or eight times 300 is 2,500. Eight times 90 would be 720, and eight times six is 48. Now I add those up, and that's my answer for that. And for 15, uh, I'll do that one with the lattice method. And my grid will look like this, and let's see, one times two, is 2, and 8 times 2 is 16, and 9 times 1 is 9, and 9 times 8 is 72, and now I'm adding diagonally, 6, 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 5, 9 plus 7 is 16, and 1 plus, the 1 would get carry, but then 1 plus 0 is 1. So that's your answer for number 15. The other two do with your choice of method, and that's it for this one. And again, this is a little bit of, of a tough one. I think some people might struggle, so I'll put a link to a more in-depth tutorial. Thank you. Bye.